All right, let's do this. Another video, all about PC gaming. With hopefully little to no hate, for whatever reason, the PC enthusiast community is very hostile. Hello guys, how are you? My name is David Franco, and welcome to another video all about PC gaming. But today we're gonna focus on streaming PCs. Now, in recent weeks, I've talked about in my vlogs, my weekend vlogs for those who don't watch, is just that, my weekly vlog where I show my personal life and things I'm into, like my, my gaming and technology and family and vacations and whatever. And throughout these weekend vlogs, I've been detailing, uh, you know, week by week, all the parts I've been getting for my upcoming streaming PC build. Now, I've had a very highly specced gaming PC for about a year and a half now, and it's been performing beautifully. Is it perfect when streaming and gaming at the same time? No. No, I mean, a lot of people might think it is, but no, it's not. And for some reason, people seem to be judging how I spend my money. I'll never understand that. I'm not gonna get into that right now, but I don't get it. I don't understand. I've had people say, David, you're wasting your money on a streaming PC, which does exactly what a gaming PC does. That could not be further from the truth, guys. A streaming PC is very, very different from a gaming PC. There's a fine line between the two. And well, guys, honestly, that's exactly why I'm making today's video. Not to rant, I'm not gonna rant. I'm gonna approach this as a mature human being. I'm not looking for hate. I'm just gonna educate because I didn't know what a streaming PC was two years ago. Really, I didn't. So I'm teaching you today what I've learned throughout the past year or so. Here we go. Five advantages from my perspective that a streaming PC brings to the whole streaming scene. It sounded redundant, but bear with me. Reason number one, a streaming PC is designed to do just that, stream. All of your resources are quite literally dedicated to broadcasting everything you see on your gaming PC and nothing more. Maybe recording, I'll talk about that in a few moments, but it's just that, a streaming PC is just a streaming PC. Yes, my gaming PC, which has an 8700K processor, a 1080 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM, way, way overkill. Yes, that's more than capable of gaming and streaming at the same time. But like I've said, it's not perfect. I do run into frame rate drops here and there, and I'll talk about that soon. So in theory, there should be no performance issues, no hiccups, no frame rate drops. You guys, the viewers, are seeing exactly what I'm seeing. Advantage number two. Streaming PCs allow you to stream older games with no problems whatsoever. Now, this is something I think many people seem to overlook. It's not all about specs, guys. It's not all about specs. It's about the convenience of being able to play older games without running into issues. For example, resolution. Resolution is a major, major problem. How many times have you as a streamer, and believe me, I've experienced this many times, how many times have you as a streamer launched a game, like an older game or whatever, or even a newer game for that matter, and your primary monitor's resolution changes to something under what your monitor can actually handle? For instance, a 1440p monitor like mine sometimes displays games at the highest resolution of 1080p because an older game like Crisis can only do that. But even then, it might go above that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but I'm using Crisis as an example because Crisis is what really motivated me to move forward with the shimmy PC. Anyway, getting to my point, sometimes your side displays, if you have two or three displays like I do, I have three currently upstairs, sometimes those side displays can freak out. And while the right monitor, in my case, literally cut off half of my Twitch chat, I couldn't see half of the chat room. So there goes my stream. What is the purpose of streaming a game, whether it's new or old, if I can't interact with the chat? I take a lot of pride in interacting with the chat, but the fact that a game like Crisis can completely break that experience, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. So, going back to my uh, previous point, which actually ties in directly with point number two, a streaming PC does that, it streams, and it streams older games with zero issues. So even if my monitor in the middle changes the 1080p, who cares? That will have zero effect on my secondary display on the right because that's tied into my streaming PC and only my streaming PC. Advantage number three, streamers like myself can manage the actual stream without having to interrupt the overall presentation. I've done this 
many times and it still frustrates the hell out of me. Especially when you have to alt tab out of games like Overwatch. For whatever reason, Overwatch likes to stutter a lot or like the, the screen flashes and I drop frames in OBS whenever I alt tab. So I try my best to not have to alt tab out of Overwatch. But with a dedicated streaming PC, I can edit the stream without having to alt tab out of my game because the streaming PC only shows OBS in the chat room and all that stuff. And while my gaming PC only shows what I need to be seeing at the moment, my game. So in other words, zero interruptions, zero performance issues, zero hiccups. That seems to be the overall theme of this video, by the way. It does exactly what it's designed to do. Advantage number four, you can quite literally record every single stream you do with again, zero interruptions, I know. So in theory, I can game and record and stream all in one PC, but why do that? Why not have a dedicated streaming PC with virtually infinite hard drive storage? I'll be getting two eight terabyte hard drives. I mean, as well as an SSD, of course, for Windows and whatever. But yes, those 16 terabytes of storage on my hard drives will be reserved for nothing but video game recordings or just in general stream recordings, whether I'm doing just chatting, playing Siege, playing Realm Royale, whatever, Apex, everything will be recorded. And well, I won't have to worry about resources being dedicated to gaming, streaming, and recording at the same time. The Shimmy PC can stream and record with no problem and I can continue to focus on my game. It's a win-win-win. Also, it's important to say you have to look at this from a content creator's perspective, like my perspective. Because I'll be recording every single stream, this means in theory, I'll have more content to put out for you guys, my viewers. So in this case, it's a win-win. Everybody wins. And finally, advantage number five. Building a streaming PC, in a way, is a backup gaming PC. Especially with the way I'm doing things, my, my uh, streaming PC is gonna be way, way overkill. I'm putting an 8700 in, uh, 1660 for my GPU, 16 gigs of RAM, which is more than enough, uh, plenty of storage as I've made clear and all that stuff. But um, yeah, in other words, my streaming PC is a secondary gaming PC, not because I'm gonna be gaming on it, but what if my gaming PC, for whatever reason, is out of service? I mean, I don't wanna have to wait a week or whatever to get parts in and have to redo my motherboard or processor because shit happens. Parts fail all the time. And while for someone like myself who puts out seven to nine streams a week, why should a simple hardware failure stop me from doing what I love? Creating content, broadcasting, talking to the chat. So um, yeah, there you go. There's nothing wrong with building an overkill streaming PC because while well, something does go wrong with your primary PC, at least you have your streaming PC to fall back on. So. There you go, the five advantages of a streaming PC. I'll go through this real quickly. Number one, it does exactly what it's built to do, stream. Number two, it's perfect for streaming older games or just games with problems in general regarding resolution. I cannot express how frustrating that is for me. Number three, you can manage your stream on a separate monitor without having to alt tab. In other words, with no interruptions. Number four, record all streams with peace of mind. Resources are completely dedicated to streaming and recording. That's a big one for content creators like myself. And finally, number five, it's a backup gaming PC. Why not? So there you have it. Hopefully I did a good job at educating others. I'm not looking for hate. I'm not looking for a war. I'm not doing this to defend myself. I'm just looking to inform people. I mean, you don't have to agree with my methods. You don't have to agree with the fact that I like having two PCs. I don't know why it affects others. I don't know why people get so upset. That's on them, not me. So yeah, with that said, if anyone ever gives you a problem with building a secondary PC built specifically for streaming, link this video, link this video, educate them. Don't get mad at them. Don't get upset. Don't start a war. I mean, guys, there's honestly no, no need to fight over video games. It's our passion, simple as that. We're all in this together. We're all geeks, we're all nerds, we're all gamers all that matters. Thank you guys so much. Your support means a lot. And of course, if you want to check out any of my parts right below for my streaming PC, please do so. Actually, I will link every single part right below. So check them out and I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you want to continue to support my content, check out the links right below in the video description. There you can access over 200 exclusive vlogs 
You can shop on Amazon and support me directly. And finally, you can get a steep discount on web hosting via Host Papa. I'll see you next time.